Recently, there has been a concept that I have been sharing with others, but I've also been sharing it heavily with myself. Something God has been saying to me, and I remind myself of it daily. Do what serves you. Hmm. Do what serves you. Now, this is not a selfish ploy for someone to ignore the needs of others, but oftentimes we do ignore our needs and think that we can function in a healthy way daily. This is not coming from a selfish standpoint, but this is coming from a necessary standpoint. Many times we're in conversations, in relationships, in situations, in moments that do not serve us. If what you're doing does not add value to your life, it does not serve you. It does not provide you with peace and joy. It does not provide you with healthy growth. Then it does not serve you. Now, there are situations that we're in with people or even with ourselves that are challenging. But just because it's challenging doesn't mean it does not serve you. You see, everybody's growing in this life, and sometimes people need uh, a person of patience uh, to help guide them further, to help love them further, to help love them into the light, as one of my colleagues says. And all of that's fine. That still serves you because it allows you to be positive in someone else's life, and they're receiving that positivity even if it's over a matter of time. And so that serves you. But going out with people that don't mean well for you, that does not serve you. Eating things that you know, you know, you know are harmful to you, that does not serve you. My friends, don't allow things to get into your space and into your time that hurt you, that harm you, that take you away from the word of God, that take you away and take you outside of the person that you have been working on becoming. Ensure that whatever happens in your day, as much as possible, even if it's challenging, ensure that it serves you.